guys, model here. One-handed backhand is a shot that is very, is very, it could be very effective if you have the right technique. It could be very effective, especially if you relax. If you're too tense, it's not gonna work. If you're gonna have a lot of trouble making the shot, especially because you don't have you don't have the support of a second of a second hand on the racket. So it's very important to pay to 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 pay attention to to keeping your arm relaxed, keeping your body relaxed, because usually when we if the arm gets tense, if, if or if your jaw gets tense, the muscles on the face too, that is gonna go to the whole body. That's gonna it's gonna affect your body. So. I want to give you three tips on the forehand that happens and they're very common on people that get too tense or too stressed when, uh, when they're playing due to it could be nervous or anxiety or something. You want to, is the first thing you got to, you got to remember is you have to stay relaxed. You got to stay always, you got to start relaxed when, when from the beginning of the match to the end. Um, even when you lose your head, you got to remember, you got to go back, you got, you, you, you can lose your hand for a second if you want, for 25 seconds that you have between points, but you gotta go back to you gotta go back to the total relaxation and don't let your body reflect what you're feeling up here. You gotta make you gotta you, you gotta develop that ability to recover in 25 seconds and stay calm and be ready for the next point. So one one mistake that a lot of one-handed players do when they get anxious is that they swing and they, they ended up open the swing too much. They swing and they end up in the Jesus Christ position. What I call is they open the body too much in the in the in, in the backhand. They they open their hips too much. So instead of finishing a little more on this, no, you don't have to finish completely to the side, but you don't want to finish completely open to the front. You can finish, let's say, 45 degrees, give or take. But be careful turning all this way because that is going to make you hit a lot of shots to the side. When you make contact with the ball, you already start you start opening your hips too early. So by the time you make contact, either you're hitting to the side or you're hitting too flat. So you don't control the shot. It's very common to mishit a lot. Play players that do that hit a lot of frames. So pay attention if you're mishitting a lot of shots. Pay attention to your hips because you're probably not allowing the racket to lag. You're opening too early, so the racket gets in this position to the ball. You know you want to come lagging if you want to get the ball clean and solid. So you gotta keep that and let it open. Tip number two: you gotta establish your strike zone. Again, I see a lot of players that, if the ball is coming on the line here, a lot of players they hit and they get too far, so they allow the hand, the, the arm to open here. You're not gonna, you're not gonna have. You're not gonna have as much, you know, much strength when, when you open the arm like that to control the ball, then what you're gonna have right here in front of you. So you wanna pay attention. If the ball is out here, it is, you're not gonna be able to brush much and you're, and, and you're more prone to give way if the shot is coming heavy or fast. So you wanna pay attention to your strike zone and strike, establish your strike zone in a spot where you feel that, that your racket, that you're supporting that racket there in front of you. How far to the side is gonna be? That's, again, that's a custom thing that every player has to do. There is not established distance. In my case, I always, I, I keep my, my grip by my hips. And I know that every single time I hit the ball there, I might miss it, but I know I'm gonna hit it solid. I know I can hit it with power, regardless of what kind of shot is coming. It can be a fast shot, it can be a super heavy high ball with spin, and I say, if I get that ball right here in, in this high, at this distance from me, it doesn't matter what kind of shot is coming. It, 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 what, whether I make the shot or not, it's gonna matter on my timing. My, and when, you, when I say timing, guys, timing meaning the distance, how far in front of you you're gonna get it, and the distance where you're gonna get it. So when I say timing, that means pretty much your strike zone. And I know that if I get that ball in the strike zone, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the kind of shot that's coming. I know I'm gonna have the ball. I'm gonna hit the ball beautiful. I'm gonna make good contact, clean, solid shot. So that's tip number two. And the third tip is many times players swing. They're too stressed too, and they just kind of stop the, the, the swing short here. When you stop the swing short here, you're not gonna be able to do much rotation. So sometimes it works if you if you relax and you stop it there. Sometimes we gotta do it on, on there. There are shots where we have to do where we have to do the swing kind of short. But some ma many times when you're swinging from the baseline, when you're running from the baseline, a lot of players swing 
and they finish a little short. So I noticed that their shots start coming kind of weak, or they just they just have they can have a speed, but they don't have any spin. So a lot of their shots fly long. Well, just this little difference going from here to here, getting letting that racket come around at the end. That that just that little thing can make can make a huge huge difference not only not only on the speed of the ball but also on the spin on the consistency of your shot so pay attention to, to finishing that swing naturally relax and let let that racket come around again as I said this is not a swing that you're gonna be using for every backhand but you start practicing and in order to do this you have to be relaxed so you kind of forcing your body to relax you you you, you, you kind of forcing your body to work like a rubber, see that ball coming ready, boom, and let it go. Let it finish there. Pay attention, pay attention to your swing. You won't remember, you don't want to finish with the Jesus Christ. Careful, that happens a lot when we let this back leg move this way. Many times, let it come this way so you open. So be careful with that. Okay, and remember, guys, the first step, the first step. To start to play to feel better when you're playing is before you set foot on the court you have to take at least 10 minutes 10 minutes to start getting in the mode in in, in competition mode or practice mode some for, for a lot of people it's difficult to, to just show up on the court and think okay I'm ready to hit and, and and hit the ball nice you gotta be in the in the right state of mind you gotta you, you, you gotta be ready you gotta be prepared you gotta, your mind is gotta be set to say, okay, you know what? Stay relaxed, stay cool. If you're going to compete, you know, you know that things can get ugly, can get hard from point number one from the first game. You can have a really hard game, a really, a really hard game, difficult time holding your serve, or you can have the chance to to break the other guy's serve and you and 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 you ended up losing it. So that's that. If you allow it, that's gonna stay in your mind. So you have to be in the right frame of mind. You gotta take that time previous. To your, to your whether you're practicing or, or or you're competing and that's gonna make that could make the big difference that could make the difference of breaking that first serve when the other guy is serving which could be gold for you or that could be the, the difference of saving your serve when you find yourself 30 40 or 15 40 and coming back and winning that game so remember one of the re, one one of the best way to be relaxed is don't fight it stay relaxed let it get to you I, I, I mo, got mo, 90 percent of the times when we always we're always going to be nervous before the match. Don't worry about that. And when the match starts, when the fight starts, and you start getting feeling the punches, you kind of relax and you just got you just kind of like gotta gotta let go. You can you you gotta allow your body get out of, get out of the way of your body. Don't try to control it. That's when we start getting too nervous, too anxious, and trying to do too much. Just get out of the way. Trust your body and let it do what it does naturally. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope it helps. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know you have questions, suggestions, and well, go out there, stay centered, be bold, and be perseverant. Thank you.